I want to talk to you about something that we haven't talked about and probably, I don't know if I ever talked about it, uh, talking about guns. I don't know, maybe this is the time to talk about uh, guns, maybe not. But I did a little research and I found out, well, we'll continue right after this. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. So on October 1st, 2023, the armed forces of the country of Ecuador enabled a system to apply for the rights to carry and possess uh, weapons for personal use by civilians. I remember the president, president, the then current president Lasso issued a uh, decree, I guess, and making it legal for uh, civilians to own personal guns for protection and so forth and we haven't really heard a whole lot about it since then but i found some information today the system is a computerized weapons control system they call it sincor s-i-n-c-o-a-r like it's spelled right here uh, civilians will use this system for the purpose of applying for the rights to possess and carry weapons for personal use so here's the requirements. You wonder what, well, what are the requirements? I had a hard, I did, really didn't have a hard time finding this, but it took me a while to locate. Number one, you have to be at least 25 years old. Number two, you have to have a psychological test certificate issued by the Minister of Public Health, just to see if you're sane. <laughs> uh, you need a certificate of skill in the handling and use of the weapon issued by the Ministry of the National Defense. You cannot have been sentenced to an enforceable sentence for the commission of a crime. I guess that means that you had to have a clean record. You can't have a record of being uh, incarcerated for the commission of a crime bad enough to be incarcerated for. That's the way I understand it. Must not have a history of violence against women or members of the family nucleus. And last but not least, you will need a certificate of passing the Toxicological examination, which determines that the person does not ingest controlled substances or is not an alcoholic, issued by the Ministry of Public Health. Well, let's see, that probably will eliminate about half of the expats that come uh, strolling into the country. So to apply, go to the following website, and it's called Login Armis, L-O-G-I, well, just like you see right here, uh, L-O-G-I-N-A-M-A-S dot C-C-F-F-A-A -A dot M-I-L dot E-D and create an account. According to the data from the armed forces, there are 130,000 legally registered weapons. This group includes shooting clubs, ath athletes, secure companies, and individuals. Okay, so fast forward to today. A new weapons law is being debated in the assembly to improve Registration and extension of permits. I don't know if this is because of the state of emergency, but it's just a thought, okay? In Ecuador, there are 36,000 valid permits for carrying and possession of weapons. A new law that regulates the importation, manufacture, trade, possession, and carrying of weapons passed the first debate in the National Assembly. The regulations created a classification of weapons that are for personal use. Actually, I need to back up. Legislators seek to update the law in force since 1979, 70, 45 years ago. The regulations create a classification of weapons for personal use, security, and surveillance, sports and recreational shooting, collection, blanks, and even electroshock weapons, okay? So maybe they're gonna consider allowing us to have uh, tasers, you know? One of the objectives is to create a single system with databases that contain records of weapons, permits, ammunition, explosives, and other accessories. Now we're talking explosives. In Ecuador, there are 9,790 permits for the carrying, possession, and sporting use of firearms for civilian use. 27,010 for security and surveillance, while the armed forces have recorded 101,295 
expired, canceled, or lost permits. The regulations seek to concentrate different laws, concentrate different laws, agreements, and regulations on weapons that are in force and that conflict. For example, after the April 2023 decrees designed by the former president, Guillermo Lasso, in which he authorized the carrying of weapons for civilian use, no, per, no new permits were issued. That's interesting. In the last year, around 500 procedures have been requested, of which none have passed through the Ministry of Health. So I don't know if this is a good thing or not. I don't know if you can get a gun or not. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big advocate of, of, well, I'm not crazy about exports bringing a lot of guns in here. It, we, we have so many people in the United States have so many guns. There's so many guns, CCWs and so forth. It's a big thing in the United States, but in Ecuador, it's a small country. And I really don't have any personal feelings about gun ownership, gun rights in Ecuador that I would discuss publicly. So anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up. It, you can have a weapon in Ecuador, you can have a gun. And if I understood this right, you could even have uh, electroshock device like a um, like a taser, but you have to go through the vetting process and get approved and good luck with that. Okay. That's all I got for this one. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.